Hi, I'm Mr. Bison. Today we're going to take a look at that Target Trooper, I don't know, six pack, whatever you want to call it, the Force Link 2.0 Solo, whole bunch of Stormtrooper pack. So while I've yet to see this pack in stores, I was able to pick it up on Target Online. So let's go ahead and open it up and check out all six of these new figures. So we'll start with our Stormtrooper squad leader, as they're calling him. Um, it's supposed to be a Minban uh, squad leader, I'm guessing. I'm just looking at the names on here. I, I guess so. Okay. Um, so as you can see, he's got the pauldron on. It's a lot like a sand trooper. Great helmet sculpt. Uh, it looks like the Rogue One helmet again, which is so good. Uh, this is the Minbon Trooper uh, body sculpt, obviously. It's holding the uh, the gun in the same way. It can only hold in that position, which, I mean, it looks nice. We can uh, take his helmet and do like that. It looks like he's aiming. Um, which, you know, the Rogue One Trooper was straight on, so this kind of adds some variation to what we can have with our Stormtroopers. So it's not too bad in that way. Uh, very nice sculpt on this. Of course, it's, you know, a Stormtrooper, but <laughs> it does look good. I do like that they gave him a, a clean white sculpt, although if he's supposed to be a Minbon, obviously uh, I never saw a very clean Minbon Trooper uh, at all, but uh, maybe I'm wrong on that. Next, we have a basic re-release of the Minbon Trooper here. Um, I know a lot of people haven't noticed this, but the helmet is a little different. It has a little extra piece, it seems, on that helmet. And no other like extra detail, like in the vents and the, the uh, mouth of the mask or any of that, or even on the back. Um, I'd have to go back and rewatch the movie to, to see if it's supposed to have that. But it's the same sculpt as before. It's the, the same basic figure. He even does come with the long rifle that came with the other one as well. So nothing a whole lot new here. But uh, it's a cool trooper, so it's nice to get another one. Next is the Imperial Patrol Trooper. And, of course, this is an all-new figure. Uh, really great to get him because it's brand new. Get a good look there at the helmet sculpt and paint job. Looks very nice. Um, lots of good detail on him. He does have a holster here that you can put his uh, little gun, which is like a uh, Biker Scout gun. His wrists are articulated. Uh, so we do get a little bit of extra articulation there. No, 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 there. Uh, some nice detail on his chest. Um, lower part, you know, it's almost like a biker scout, not quite. Doesn't have the knee pads, the shin guards are different and all that. But kind of similar idea. And the back has this, uh, the back that's a lot like the, uh, the Scarif Troopers, I believe, in that. So, uh, kind of neat that we get a little difference there. All in all, I like him. He looks like he's got, uh... Oh, he's got little details on his belt. Looks like he's got a baton or something like that. I would assume this is basically like the Stormtrooper uh, policeman. So, uh, pretty cool that we got him. I hope we get the his bike and maybe another figure that will be fully articulated or made to work on the bike. But it'd be nice to get him with the bike as well. Next, we get Han Solo in the Mud Trooper outfit. Which, of course, is kind of uh, awkward, weird for him to be in this set of a whole bunch of troopers. But, I mean... At the same time, you can put on his mask and everything, and he's just another mud trooper. He has the red armband there, like in the movie. He's got his cape. If we want to look underneath the cape. Not a whole lot of detail in there. You see he's got the backpack a lot like the Imperial Patrol Trooper. I'm actually kind of curious if his cape... No, it is different from the Minbon Trooper. I was, was kind of curious on that. Um... But yeah, we can put up, let's see, we can bring his goggles down and bring up his mask. Let's see if I can get this right here. I had it right earlier. It looked good. So you can get him with a full Mud Trooper gear, basically. Um, kind of nice. The arms are permanently stuck um, in that same position. It's very similar to the Mimbon Trooper. Uh, the wrists are articulated to move around that. But uh, still a nice figure. Good that we got a, a Han of this. Uh, the goggles are completely removable, by the way, so you can see that it's like an ATSD driver helmet in many ways. Um, and that mask, I haven't tried to take it off all the way, so I, I don't really want to. <laughs> but uh, it's nice that we got him. Next, we have a basic mud trooper. You can see his armband is different. Um, his goggles do not come off, nor does the face mask. Well, if you look, you can see there is a pink face underneath. I'm assuming with no detail or anything, uh, but I can't get the mask off. I don't want to try and destroy the figure in doing so. He does come with a different gun. This looks a lot, lot like a Scarif Stormtrooper gun. Um, but other than that, it's the exact same mold as the Han Solo one uh, on, on the head. 
And, but it's nice because we got another Mud Trooper. Uh, it's good to have these. I like the design. It's a pretty cool design for a figure, uh, for character and all. So uh, it was nice that we did get these. Final figure in this set is the TIE Pilot, which looks to be the same as the TIE Pilot we got with the Force Link TIE Fighter. Uh, looks to be the same as the one that came with the TIE Strikers. Um, it's the standard five points of articulation TIE Fighter Pilot. It's a great sculpt. I mean, the, the head looks very good. Well, I don't think TIE Pilots need a lot of action posing anyway. I mean, what do you do usually with them? You put them in their TIE Fighters or you have them standing in ranks. You usually don't have TIE Fighter Pilots running around or anything. He does have some great detail on him, though. Uh, you see a little bit of Arabesh writing there on top. Uh, all in all, it's a good figure. It's another one. It's a good troop builder, which is, I think, the whole point of this whole set. So, of course, now we need to say what, see what they all say. Firmware update required. Firmware oh, that's update great. Required. Okay. Firmware update required. Interesting. How about him? Trooper, standing guard. Look alive. <laughs> I don't know if this is the same as the original Reese, I don't remember. There they are, find them. Okay. Let's try that. Halt. Identify yourself. Oh. I'm reloading. Cover me. Corellia, patrol troopers in pursuit. Interesting. Calls them Imper Corellia Imperial Trooper. We've identified criminals in the area. I wonder if there might be differences on different planets. Let's go with Han. Han Solo, reporting for duty. I don't know what that is. If anybody knows what that is, put a comment in. Lots of sounds and stuff. Weird, but not a lot of voice stuff. Weird. Troopers, to me. You are about to face my fury. I need covering fire. He sounds excited. You gotta love all those generic voices on that, right? And TIE Pilot. For the glory of the Empire. TIE Online, awaiting orders. Hit them with everything you've got. Ah, I'm taking heavy fire here! I'm locking onto my target now. Hit them with everything you've got. Ah, I'm like a whole lot of so that's what all the different figures say with Force Link. Of course, my favorite. Firmware update required. Right. <laughs> so for grading on these, I would give the sculpt an 85, mostly because there's just not a whole lot new here. We're using a bunch of old sculpts. And uh, there are a couple new sculpts. They're very good. That's why it's an 85. I mean, they all look good. It's just there's not a lot new here. Uh, features, I would give an 80, just, again, because it's a lot of reuse here. There's not really... A whole lot new, a lot of new weapons or anything like that. And initially, the Force Link didn't even work on one of the troopers. Uh, Pain apps give 90. They all look great. Um, I, I, there's very little I would say that they could have done. The Han Solo head could have looked better. Obviously, they're starting to do the um, the face print technology on three and three quarter inch, but vintage stuff. Next, uh, actually starting now, but uh, and they're not doing it on the Force Link, so we're not going to see it on the Han here. But it could have looked a little bit better. And for overall value, it's an 80. Uh, I, I mean. It's about the same price if you bought all the figures individually, so it's really not a savings. Like, normally in these type of packs, we, we have a savings. I mean, they're good figures, but we have a lot of reused molds at a price about the same that if these figures have been individually carded. And we only really get the two new molds with the Mud Trooper and the Patrol Trooper. And the Mimbon is really no different from the regular release, nor is the TIE Pilot different from what we've gotten with the TIE Striker and the recent uh, Force Link TIE Fighter. There's good additions in here, but there's room for something more, especially when most of these uh, packs, generally, when we get packs like this, we, we get kind of more value, like one more figure than we would have if they were all individuals. So it, it seems like we should have gotten something more here. 
So the overall grade is an 83.75%, which is a B. So that's a look at that trooper pack that we've gotten from Target. Um, some nice stuff in here. Could have been a little bit better, but still nice to get a whole bunch of different kind of Imperial troops to add to our collections. If you enjoyed this review, please uh, say so. <laughs> Subscribe. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. You can leave those below too. That'd be great. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I'm still working on a few more reviews coming out. And I've got a, a few more items coming out in that retrospective on the TIE Fighter. I'm going to be doing the TIE Advance next once I get that done. Get that out. So that should be coming probably within the next week. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this and keep on collecting.